Help me ducks, it's Simon here. Welcome back to the Hermit's Cave. I'm not sure if the camera is straight. There we go, that looks a little bit better. Okay, so today I'm coming on to have a look at a book and that's not something I do uh, very often on my channel. There's a number of reasons for that, but the primary one being as uh, somebody who has ADD, I find reading books um quite challenging that mean that doesn't mean i don't read books i do but um i'm not somebody who can sit down for a few hours and really sink into a book my brain span doesn't allow that um but anyway i saw this so i reviewed x as you're probably aware for red feather uh which is the mind body spirit arm of Schiffer, and they send a catalogue every i think it's every quarter maybe it's not as often as that it might be twice a year actually um and last year they sent a catalog and i saw this book which is an illuminated guide to wicker a complete visual manual now i'm not somebody who uh follows wicker that doesn't mean i, I won't ever follow wicker uh, but I am interested in exploring uh, different witchcraft practices, different aspects of paganism, etc. And because this is a visual manual, I thought it might be a good book for somebody like me who struggles with text heavy uh, publications. And of course, when I saw, um, I mean, the paper, everything is beautiful in this book. When I saw some of the images in this book, I was like, oh my goodness, that's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So, um, so I, I said, I'd love, I'd love to be able to have a look at this, this book. Now, I think there's been some um, kind of shipping issues with Schiffer Red Feather. Um, because this should have been sent probably at the end of last year and I got a dispatch notice saying that they dispatched it but it never came so I let them know and it's arrived today and I couldn't wait to to jump in so it's 16.99 in dollars so I'm not quite sure what that would be in uh in sterling maybe 15 14 pounds something like that it is beautiful the cover on the book it's a hard hardback book but there's embossing on the uh, lettering and on the image it's really really beautiful it's by uh, Helena Dominic and on the back it says have you always wanted to learn more about Wicca but didn't know where to start yes hell yes <laughs> I never know where to start so hopefully this is the right place start learning today with this beautiful amply illustrated book that almost comes alive with images in an illuminated manuscript style and touches on topics including some Wiccan beliefs, the wheel of the year and ritual construction. Each lesson builds on the last as you explore this fascinating tradition through its history, the classical elements with directional and seasonal correspondences, consecrating of tools and much more. The images and symbols embellishing the pages become embedded within for deep, rich learning. And Helena Dominic is a lifelong artist and practitioner of Wicca. Since 1994, she has taught Wicca in many different settings, including festivals and conferences. Helena also teaches art history and studio art so and as i said the i don't know if you can see here but there's like um this feels like the recycled paper we get those little flecks in there of um other you know petals and things like that it's 152 pages so it's not a huge book but it's a nice size um so let's have a look at the contents page oh we've got a uh, a little bookmark from Red Feather, Schiffer Publishing, um, inspiring through expert knowledge. 
so it was published in 2021 um not christian or jew or muslim not hindu buddhist sufi or zen not any religion or cultural system i am not from the east or the west not out of the ocean or up from the ground not natural or ethereal not composed of elements at all i do not exist i'm not an entity in this world or the next did not descend from adam and eve or any single story sorry or any origin story my place is in the placeless a trace of the traceless neither body nor soul i belong to the beloved have seen the two worlds as one and that one call to and know first last outer inner only that breath breathing human being wow and that's roomy we've got a little uh, a little ribbon here as well as a place marker place holder um acknowledgements and you can see even right from the acknowledgement page we get these beautiful beautiful illustrations so here's what we get, the table of contents. This is set out really nicely as well, really lovely. So we've got the forward, an introduction, why another book on Wicca? And then we've got the chapters. So we have a brief history of Wicca um, and with some forays into neo-paganism in general. Some Wiccan beliefs, the elements and ritual tools, gazing more deeply into the cauldron, the wheel of the year, S-bats and the moon, your relationship with the gods, witches and ethics, psychic development and divination, ritual construction, casting the circle and calling the quarters, spellcrafting, to coven or not to coven. That's the one that really uh, kind of intrigues me. You know, there's Wicca. When I think of Wicca, I often think of the need to join a coven but there are solitary practitioners uh, within wicca as well so just look at this i love this the pages look how they feel aged and um, they've got like an off-white color they feel really sort of like you're opening an old book an old book of shadows or something and um, so the court uh, the forward is by courtney weber wicca has called you now what so, and then why another book on Wicca, as we mentioned, look at these. the illustrations are gorgeous. Roots and branches on the neo-pagan tree. Uh, a bit of a timeline here as well. The brief history of Wicca, are all Wiccans the same? The Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn. It'll be interesting reading what they've got to say about that. Different traditions, so the Blue Star tradition, the Georgian tradition, the Alexandrian tradition, so lots of different traditions explained here. But it looks like it's set out in nice, easy to read, simple formats, which would be good. Oh, I'll just read something about the Fae, the Radical Fairies. And then we go into some Wiccan beliefs. Look at this beautiful, these Celtic designs. Wiccan ethics, personal responsibility, a bit on reincarnation. These are nice bite-sized chunks of information. Sexual and gender attitudes. And then some personal work. So it looks like we get some, um, some homework because it is a course. Elements and ritual tools. So, oh, this is great. Love it. What is the most important tool in the witch's toolbox? You are. <laughs> we do get, uh, we do like our bells and whistles sometimes, don't we? But, you know, it can be, um, aesthetics can play a really key part. Look at this, this full page illustration here beautiful for air so we're looking at the elements now 
and then we've got fire here, water, just beautiful, and then earth, gorgeous, personal work, meditation on the elements, consecrating your tools, and then gazing more deeply into the cauldron. Um, so some items that you might want to have, a cauldron, I've got a little cauldron, not a very big one. Yeah, it's kind of that size. <laughs> Herb cabinet, that's something I do need to get better at. I've got a mortar and pestle, incense holder, broom or besom, divination tools. So they've got here some runes, crystals, candles, a bookshelf, deity representations, but the most important is to bring yourself. Um, etiquette tips, personal space. This looks great. And then we've got the wheel of the year, as you can see here. Way around here at this time. Ostara going into Beltane. So it goes through each of the uh, Sabbats here. Samhain, Yule, beautiful. Emol, Astara, Beltane, Letha, Lunasar, Mabon. I love it. I love the illustrations, but it looks like the text is going to be really nice to read as well. And what I'm looking forward to is just kind of taking my time, you know, bit, bit at a time, bite sized information. So we've got the phases of the moon. The moon is really important, of course. So we've got, oops, the dark moon, lunar eclipses, all about moon correspondences, where they are when they're in Cancer, Libra, Pisces, etc. And then your relationship with the gods. Oh, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? What is deity? Whom to choose and how? Research. Working with deity in ritual and magic, patrons, patronesses. Um, and then a section on ethics. Which is an ethics. Oh, I could put these pictures out and frame them all. <laughs> Just gorgeous. And then Psychic Development and Divination. There are lots of books available today on divination, usually on, um, on specific forms of divination. Finding a general book is difficult and finding the means you most like to use for divination can also be difficult if you're not familiar with the practice. That's true, actually. Oh, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Grounding and centering, meditation, developing psychic abilities, seeing auras. You can see she's reading some uh, cards there. Psychometry, which is something I practiced many years ago. And then we've got ritual construction, casting circles, calling the quarters, invocation of deity. Oh, look at this, a bit on drumming, grounding and centering, wonderful. And then as we get to the back, we've got casting the circle and calling the quarters, an important skill. I don't know much about that, so that will be something I'll enjoy reading about. And then it tells you how here to call the quarters. And then we've got spell crafting. And then whether to join a coven or not, to coven or not to coven. There are many ways of going about being a witch in this wide world of ours. And many people choose to do so by going the solitary route. So there's uh, some writings I would imagine for and against there. 
And then we go into the bibliography, useful Wiccan websites and useful Wiccan books. So there we have it. That's the an illuminated guide to Wicca, a complete visual manual. Um, and it is visual, but this that makes you feel like, um, you know, there's less text, but there's a decent amount of information here, but it does look like it's quite accessible in terms of, you know, how it's broken down and how it's set out. So it looks like a thorough kind of book, um, but I'll have to come back perhaps sometime in the near future when I've read it. Don't know how long that will be, <laughs> how long it takes me to read things. Um, but I did finish my book that I started the back end of last year, which was on um, the grimoire, my grimoire, which I really found useful. So I'm hoping I will with this as well. So, yes, if you've got this book, let me know your thoughts or if you intend to get it, uh, let me know what you are going to use it for, whether you use it to do it as a full course, whether it's something you want to dip in and out and, you know, extract key bits of information. Um, what's your thoughts? Do you need to be a wicker to follow this or do you think this can be uh, cross reference with many pagan practices? Um, I'd be interested to know. I know very little about Wicca, actually, even though I class myself as a pagan, somebody who uh, reveres deity, uh, follows the wheel of the year and the old path. Um, I know very little about, about Wicca itself. Thank you for watching, everybody. And until next time, go in peace. Namaste and blessed be.